I'm Dr. Roger, and this question is for the March 2021 US SAT calculator section. College Board gives us a ratio. 12 grams of glucose corresponds to 45 kilocalories of energy, and they ask how many grams of glu glucose for 85.5 kilocalories of energy. So we can set that up as 12 grams over 45 kilocalories equals they're asking how many grams, so I'm going to call that x grams, over 85.5 kilocalories. And I like to write the labels in there so I don't get confused and flip something by accident. Here I see it's grams over kilocalories, it equals grams over kilocalories. I feel like I probably did that right. Solving for the number of grams, I can multiply both sides by 85.5. The 85.5s cancel, and I'm left with 12 over 45 times 85.5 equals x, the number of grams. After the first setup, I don't worry about keeping my units. I know I did them correctly. So 85.5 times 12 over 45 gives me 22.8. That is choice C. If I wanted to do this without a calculator, which hopefully I remember my calculator and have batteries, and this is early in the test, I could also say the number of grams of glucose is a little less than one-fourth the number of, no, I'm sorry, a little more than one-fourth the number of kilocalories. And so down here, the number of grams of glucose should be a little more than one-fourth of 85.5, so a little more than one than 21, and this is the only answer in the correct neighborhood, so we could estimate the correct answer would be C. College Board often asks you to convert units, and we can either convert units by setting up a ratio like this, or we could have set it up as 85.5 kilocalories, and we're told that 12 grams corresponds to 45 kilocalories. And we set it up with the 45 kilocalories in the de denominator, so that kilocalories cancels kilocalories in the denominator to give us grams. And again, it's 85.5 times 12 over 48 is 22.8 grams. College Board will ask you to convert units on your SAT, so make sure you're comfortable either with the ratio or with setting up unit conversions like we do in many chemistry classes. And come back soon for my next video. With math, there's always more.